So we're being joined by Adam Lewick uh, from, is it the Vail Valley Foundation? Yeah. yeah, and you guys have got some exciting news. And I think right now there's actually a buzz going around that there's going to be this 30-day long tour of America. It's going to be in, have you heard yeah. this? Yeah, I just saw that. Well, why don't you tell me your good news first? Well, that other one is kind of proposed. Yeah. Ours is on the books. Uh, next year, August next year, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, uh, we're resurrecting certain components of the Coors Classic and bringing some additional flair to it. We're having a three-day UCI Class 1 Pro Road Race in Vail. You know, it, it, how exciting is that? You know, a lot of people, we've, we've talked with people uh, for years about why isn't the Coors right. Classic still around. And what would your answer be to that? The Coors Classic started to get a little too big for its own uh -huh. bridges. They started to expand into other states and tried to make it a little too big, and it was a one- or two-person show. We're taking a little bit different approach. We're starting a little bit smaller with a three-day road race. Um, it'll be a, a road race circuit and a time trial, and the time trial is the old Coors Classic time trial. Bernard Eno won, right? Yeah, yeah Bernard's won. Andy Hampstead still holds the record, so somebody's got to break Andy's record. Right. Um, nobody's had the opportunity since 88. And what, you know, I actually just took a cab over here with Davis Finney, who one of the courses that really defined him, I'd say the North Boulder uh, Park yeah. course, and then that Vail Criterium. Are you going to, is it still possible to race on that exact same circuit? Not the exact same circuit. Plus, today, nobody does, on the Pro Tour side of it, nobody wants to do criteriums. Right. We'll do a circuit which will incorporate some of those components into it, but it's not exactly the same. So and so the plan is a uh, time trial, a circuit race, and a road race. Yep. Great. Well, I think that that's uh, right now uh, cycling in Colorado. This will probably be the biggest boost we've had since the Coors Classic. Do you feel? Do you feel the support from the community there? The more people we talk to, everybody has the same reaction, which is, it's going to be unbelievable. You're bringing a pro cycling race back to Colorado. I mean, we're a little scared how many people we're going to get descending on, on our little valley to watch this race. How many hotel rooms are there? Or, you know, they, t they talk about putting uh, heads on pillows. How many pillows are there in Vail? The last number I heard, it, it's a fairly big number. I want to say somewhere in the 18,000 mark for hotel rooms. Plus, everybody's got friends there, and everybody knows some place to stay. So, And the nice part is we're only an hour and a half from the front range. Sure. So... Well, I think this is something to really look forward to. So coming up in late August, everyone's going to need to make their way out to Vail, and that's the plan, isn't it? Yeah, Colorado Stage is what it's called, and uh, you'll be seeing more and more of it. It'll hit the UCI calendar when they announce it at Worlds. Well, thanks a lot, Adam, and good luck. Thank you.